Hey, New Covenant family, this year we're going to be blessing all nine fire stations with a Thanksgiving meal. Those men and women work hard all year long to keep us safe and protected. And on this holiday, when they're working and they have to be away from their families, we want to bless them with a Thanksgiving meal. One of our members, Courtney Davison, is heading this up. Uh, check this out, and you'll understand why this is very special to the Davison family. An eight-year-old girl was seriously injured in Athens when she was attacked by a dog just outside of her own home. This turned into an emergency real quick. Her family panicked. They told our Caitlin Ross exclusively that thanks to the fast thinking and compassion of the firefighters, their daughter is doing well tonight. The mom knew her daughter needed help quick, so she called 911, got her daughter in the car, and drove her here to the fire station. Her daughter's injury was severe. All I could think about is it could have been worse. I could have, I could have lost my baby that day. The firefighters on shift ran outside the bay and carried eight-year-old Katie Rose inside. Corporal David Pope started administering first aid. In my opinion, it was a pretty rough dog bite. But he didn't just work on the bite. He worked to calm Katie Rose down and distract her from the injury. We asked her about her school and her favorite colors. The firefighters at the station got Katie Rose and her mom on the ambulance, but didn't stop caring for them there. Another firefighter cleaned out their car so they wouldn't have a reminder of the bite when they were released from the hospital. She doesn't want to come back after all this ordeal and have had her car towed or have to relive some of that, 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 that fear. Two days after the attack, Corporal Pope brought Katie Rose some Legos at home and a card from the firefighters who helped treat her when she was bit. She had been in my heart and I just wanted to make sure she was okay. Katie Rose's wounds are healing well now and her mom says she's okay, largely thanks to the care and kindness Corporal Pope and all the firefighters showed them. So go to the church app and sign up. You can either volunteer to be a cook or help out with deliveries. Sign up and let's bless those who work in our fire stations this Thanksgiving. If you're a student in eighth through 12th grade or you have a student in those grades, they're gonna be going to winter renewal this year. Don't miss out on this exciting weekend, this life-changing weekend. It's gonna be January the 3rd through the 5th. The cost is $250 per student. That covers everything, registration, food, transportation. Uh, they're gonna be at Sevierville, Tennessee at winter renewal. Register today, reserve your spot, and get ready for a life-changing weekend. I'm in the Rising Youth room right now recording this video and Rising Youth have some exciting news for you. If you're in fifth through eighth grade, you're going to the mix this year. That's right from February the 21st through the 23rd. It's going to be an incredible weekend. This will be the first outing for our Rising Youth program. So we're really excited about that. Uh, if you have a middle schooler, get them registered. The cost is only $75 for the weekend. It's going to be a fun and life-changing weekend for your middle schooler. So make sure to go ahead and get them registered for the mix, February 21 through 23rd of 2025.